Well, today is definitely going to be a bit of an interesting episode. As you can tell, I'm flying in the sky. In case you're not aware, the game does have a single-player mode in which you can enable, enable, enable admin commands, and you can also do a creative mode. You can fly infinite resources. You can build the base of your dreams, spawn any animal you want. You can uh, paint them. These aren't like mutation colors. Normally, you can get animals that do look similar to this. Uh, once you breed them, they can have like a genetic uh, mutation. So to get to the point, my other base online, which was the same map as this, uh, I accidentally wiped myself out and I lost about 100 dinosaurs that were in a cryo fridge. Thousands of ingots for anybody who knows what that means. So years ago, this used to be where my base was. And bad things happen. I, I want to show you because I'm here and then we'll go back to where I was and what happened and how stupid I was. So I used to have a base here. Pretend this was like, you know, online. There was like a behemoth gate here. Just follow the, uh, you know, the crosshair here. And what happened was I had a lot of angler fish and I'll try not to move uh, too much so that you don't get dizzy. I, I had uh, this animal here, a bunch of sharks. And it was just a beautiful thing. But there was a tribe, and they weren't very nice. And I don't know. Because they did it because they can. This is a very narrow passage. As you can see, my Mosasaur um, cannot pass here. And so they dumped a bunch of rafts. As a matter of fact, I have the original screenshot from several years ago. They just put a bunch of rafts. They just dumped it right there. Blocked me off. So I was never able to leave ever again cryopods at that time did not exist so it's not like you could just capture an animal put it in a cryopod and go about your day okay so i eventually quit the game but that was uh, the last time that i played arc uh, on playstation that was from 2017 to 2018 uh, i used to play early access on pc and all that and then i played on xbox so over here is an island I've always been fascinated with for obvious reasons. It's just, it's a nice little nook here that you can set up a base. You've got a couple of metal resources that spawn. It's just a very, very lovely little area. I just came from here. We just came over here. Now I'm going to show you where I was because I started making a series a couple of weeks ago there. It was like a six-parter, and this is where my base was, right here. This is right where it was. Never mind the squid there. Okay, so I wasn't too far from my old base, nor that area over here. Let me try something here. Gamma correction. Good. We've got the light bloom and the life shafts off. That is very good indeed. So I was over here. I want to say I'm trying to replicate what happened here. I was roughly, oh, I don't know, maybe, like, not far from shore. I was roughly right about here, hovering. And as you can see, like, from that metal platform, that ocean platform that I showed you, that's all one piece. It's a miraculous little thing, really. So we'll go like this here. I'm going to try and replicate what exactly I did. Okay. Okay. So as you can see, when we go in the water here, it, it's pretty deep. I was a little bit further out, but again, this is just a, a noob reenactment. And I had a bunch of ceiling pieces on the ground. So you can build on this platform. It's all one piece. I could go ahead here and uh, let me start showing you something. You can't put a wall up. Nothing snaps to the edge here unless you have a ceiling piece so the inner part it snaps so you're able to do what the heck is going on here there we go we could start with like you know one piece there for example putting that there the, these are these are metal pieces okay and when you look at them you could see that they're well lined up see like those two little dots touching each other 
that's like perfectly well lined up. And we know that because we could just tell. When you start to go and place another uh, ceiling piece here, there's different snapping points, and that can seem a little bit uh, confusing. But I'm gonna try and show you what I was what I was doing here. Of course, here it's making a a liar out of me here. So I was going on and I was placing a bunch of ceilings, and I figured I wanted to do a water pen, but I wanted to fill you know, the middle as well, so that you can do that. And then on the edge over here, I'm able to put a fence foundation piece so that I could put up walls and stuff like that. And gates and whatnot, okay? And if you go and you look and you're like, okay, that looks good. Oh, that one looks crooked. It's not. I'm just saying, let's say it was. You go like this, metal ceiling, demolish. Okay? And you demolish it, no problem. I did that, but there was some server lag, and it must have done that. And as you can see, my inventory gets filled with all the materials, half the materials of what it costs to put that thing down. Okay? And whatever cryo fridge with all my animals that were inside, they fell in a bag. All my electric cables... We're hovering, you know, like where, oh, like actually, oh, there you go. Perfect. Just like that. That's literally what it looks like, but you can't fly on an official server. And it decomposes in a half hour. It just literally destroys everything. So that's what it ended up looking like on my uh, official server. Except when you're floating in the water, you know, the right way, you can't, you can't do what I just did here, like I said. And I was a little bit further in, but just for the sake of storytelling, that's essentially what happened. It was an arc that screwed up. It was, uh, I mean, they lagged, but I mean, it's, it's just, it's risky, right? Like it's really, really risky. It's very unfortunate, but it, it's the way that it is and bittersweet in a way, as that expression goes, if I even understand it correctly. I was spending a lot of time playing Ark. It was worse than when I first started playing World of Warcraft. Raising all these babies. Making sure that, you know, they're being well fed. And It was getting a little bit much, but I was getting a good momentum going. I was having fun, you know, checking like this, who's online. There was only three or four people at a time. And I, and I was just having a blast uh, socializing a little bit with people. But I... I never did anything with these people. Really, I had some people give me some dinosaurs and stuff like that because they knew I had been around before and... Okay, you know what? You're a little bit too loud. I'm not enjoying how loud you are. That way, that should keep you quiet. So I have that power. And playing online is a lot of fun. Look at that. Special event dinosaur there it just it feels lonely but now I can build wherever I want I used to be here and I still might log into the server at some point in another video to show you whatever's left I was stuck in a little nook here and I had my behemoth gates like right around here and then my neighbor's big massive world trade center replicator was like right here then there was, you know, another big base here. And then I would come here to get my, uh, was it here? Yes. I would come here to get my uh, beaver dam for the cement paste. And there was another gigantic base right over here. All the trees were gone because they put foundation pieces to prevent the spawns from coming back. Uh, there was another nice person that was set up right over there. There was a new player that just started... Um, playing yesterday, and he was, oh, usually doesn't lag when single player, but I mean, I am flying around right here. There was another base right here. There was a new player that was stuck, kept dying 
It was only level one, so I picked him up on my wyvern and I had him hop on. And I set him up here, I punched out the tree, gave him a stone foundation uh, with a bed so he could respawn. A little box so that he could keep, uh, you know, the items that I had given him. I made him some uh, metal tools. And, uh, yeah, it was just, like, it, it's fun being able to do that. Oh, 120, well, you look pretty naughty. No, I don't like the sounds of that. So there was just, like, a lot of history there. And that's what I liked about it. Even though I wasn't really doing anything with people, it was more of a chatting thing. It was more of a social thing because I don't really do any of that in real life over the past nearly 20 years, I guess. So it gave me something to, to do in terms of the social aspect of the game. That was fun. In the end, though, I was doing my thing on my own. I wasn't doing boss fights. I wasn't in a tribe. I just need a sip here. Give me a second. I wasn't allianced with anybody, which is like two tribes that can... They're more or less merged, but not really. And it just... Uh, I was doing everything on my own, and I would always complain that I was sandwiched here. Someone was building too close, so I built too close to somebody. So now I get to do what I want. I can cheat or not cheat, and that's pretty much the story. Oh, and I tamed a, a, a beaver, a legit one. I didn't spawn it because it's the summer event, though I tried to spawn the Halloween event to see how that happens. So this is not a mutation again. This is just like, you know, summer colors. He's got like the indigo, whatever you call it, tail, the purple feet, the blue and red fur. It's just, it's really cool. Actually made him the real saddle. And I like that. Oh, you can see over there that Stegosaurus there the, with the uh, the colors. And I don't know. I just, uh, I thought that that was really cool. That you can spawn these events whenever you want. Look at all these colors. 95, that's good. We actually have 80. Yeah, so now I can build wherever I want, try to make it semi-realistic, and make this whole place truly my my very own. So it's going to be a, a merge of, or a combination of the base that I had over there years ago to this place here that I've always wanted. I don't know if I'm going to leave that there. I just... Wanted to see what it looked like. Again, if I don't like it, I can move it. I mean, I can destroy it and plop it back down. This is not an official online server, right? So I don't have to worry about that. If, if you don't like something, you can just readjust everything. And what I might do, because I have infinite resources, I had started building at one point, right from uh, about over here, the metal spawn... I had it so that when I went across right all the way over here, I was starting to work on a bridge that would bring me right across so I didn't have to go through the nasty water. So, not all is lost. I mean, I can host an online event, play with some people and stuff like that. But that's what I wanted to show you. The main thing was the mistake that I made, how I screwed up, and... uh yeah, and, you know, I really don't know what else to say, but, you know, shit happens. Uh, it, it does suck, but, oh, there we go, right there. You see that right there? See how that doesn't line up? See how there's, like, a little bit of an edge there? It's, it's like, um, it's crooked? That's what I'm talking about. I know you might be like, oh, you're OCD, but look at it, though, for real. Like, tell me you can't... I could see the gap there. Right? Well, I was just going hog wild, placing all these pillars everywhere. See the different snap points? You gotta be careful when, when you do them. So a part of me wants to start back over on an official server. It's just that I lost so much. I just... I, I don't know how I'm gonna come back from that. But I'll have to see... 
I had a bunch of ocean platforms. They're all gone. Uh, I just, I really, I really don't know. Now the tech ones are kind of, see, they even have the same thing. With the, with the snap point, right? It's the same thing with them. You got the small, dark line. This one's a little bit more pronounced. But then when you look here, you can see there's a little nub. So that is kind of, if you will, the point of the whole video. Place your ceilings properly the first time and do them slowly piece by piece because it came to a point, I know I'm just kind of dragging on here, where I had over 200 floor pieces all over the place, and guess what? I didn't know if part of them were snapped here, part of them weren't snapped there. It was driving me insane, so I was on the verge of just destroying everything. But I wasn't supposed to literally destroy everything, including the ocean platform. So this gives you an idea just how big the platform is again. And it's a 20 by 20 foundation or ceiling uh, piece here like like this here it's like 20 by 20 so that's a lot that's i think 400 if my math isn't too wonky to cover that entire area it's a lot of metal ceilings but it holds you accountable to playing by the server rules you can't just start you know spawning around throwing things down like they're worthless because then you don't feel like you earned anything Right? But I earned a lot of this stuff. So I'm thinking of giving myself the stuff. Rebuilding to what I had. To make up for it. And then eventually... Disable the admin command. Disable the creative mode. And play the game normally. As one would normally do. And just cut... The hell? Trikes don't go underwater, do they? What the heck are we doing? I mean, they can swim, but... Huh. That's a little bit of an odd ball behavior there. A lot of times a titan will actually spawn here. Oh yeah, there's some rexes that can spawn here too. So, wild female 55 rex. Eh, you don't scare me. Whoops. You want some of this? That's what happens. Roar and see what that gets you. Now these little terror birds, they can be, uh... They could be really strong to the point where they, uh, Take a couple of kill commands for them to... Oh, you want some of that too? Did I... Did I get your brother there? Yeah, well, you're gone. So I'll be able to build wherever I want. The whole world is mine. I think there's a cave in here. I've, I've been in here legit before, I want to say over half a decade ago. Uh, I don't really remember what was in here. But it looks like it's pretty hot in here. Anyways, I just want to take a quick peek. See what's going on. I think some people bring their frogs in here to uh, collect cement paste from the bugs. I just really don't remember what is down here. I'm assuming that would hurt. Yeah, as you can tell, there's a bunch of little, bunch of little weird things. Oh, a 150 scorpion? Well, aren't we just happy to see me wild? Pull muscoid. Those are like little bats there. We've got uh, a colorful... Wow. Anyways, you can see what would happen if I didn't have the... Uh... My good grief. What would happen if you weren't well prepared? Uh... Yeah, you would be up the uh, shit creek without a paddle. Anyhow, there's events and things that you can do. Helps you unlock other engrams, but 
or engrams, however you want to call it. So I still might make a few more videos on Ark. I don't know. I might try to go back to official because when you have all these cheat commands at your disposal, it's a little bit hard to refuse them and, and not use them, right? It, you, you just feel compelled to use it. it. It's right there at your disposal. When you play online, not that I give a monkey's ass what anybody thinks, but people see your stuff, they're like, yeah, he earned it. Or, I mean, he got it given to, by someone, but that's not the point. Is is he earned it because it's official. Ooh, it's official. Whereas when it's offline, you just hit a button and get whatever you want. It, it doesn't count. It doesn't make it a special. I don't feel special about all, any of these animals that I have because I, I didn't work for them, even though I've earned them legitimately on an official server, right? So, yeah, not on my watch. Anyways, we'll see what happens in the future for now. This is sort of the gist of it. I might, like I said, rework on building a little something, something here. Or I might destroy that all entirely or leave that as like my crafting station. I really don't know. Maybe I'll plop one more of these uh, ocean platforms if I could find it it would help and I and I would want to line it up all properly too so it's like all all nice but just to give me um, an idea of the size of it see like that but again see how that's crooked obviously I would I would line it up if I, if I decided to actually do something like this I'll have to see that's the beautiful thing with creative mode. But anyways, a little bit discouraged. I'll, I'll do a little quick uh, fly through. It's a little bit laggy when you kind of do it this way. Let me try and do it more normal. Now, these lightning wyverns, they're slow. Yeah, actually, that's really slow. They're slower than a crystal uh, wyvern. I used to think this was fast until I got on the crystal one and I was like, oh, wow, that's really impressive. So the island has to be, I think, for me, my favorite map. Just aesthetically, there's just so much going on for it. Uh, there's a guy I used to know had a big, massive base here. All these, like, little ravines and creeks, they just, whoops... They just look so darn cool. Oh my good gosh, look at the color of that. I know, I know you're excited there, but wow. That is a really, really interesting color. And I love the Baryonyx. So we're just gonna do this for now. Just because we can. Don't don't be mad at me. Be my friend. That's right. Are we good now? We're on good terms. This is like Pokemon. I guess I gotta get closer. You hold it out. And that's how that works. Again, if that existed when I got trolled by those rafts, I would have been able to uh, just grab them and go over the raft. There's a colorful... Carno. I'm just kind of flying around a little faster than what the game is used to. I just wanted to show you a little bit of this island. It is just very, very nice. I just love the area. Like, it's just aesthetically... In my opinion, just very pleasing. It's got swamps. Some people are going to feel the same same way. Some people are going to hate it. You know, I might even build near the green obelisk here. Uh, like it, it's just such a nice area. I can't I can't say enough nice things about it. it. It just has a little bit of everything. Redwood Mountain. At first, I got confused. It's like, oh my god, who put that up there? Did the game do that on its own? No, it was me. It's called the Metal Tree Platform. And you can build um, on it. Some people live in the redwoods here, but this is usually 
a little bit more of an advanced uh, place to, to be. See, there's beehives. You can gather honey. Then the bees come at you and try and sting you. I remember I tamed something here. I can't remember what it was. It was right here about six, seven years ago. But it was just it was just a lot of fun. There's just so much to do, so many different places to build. Now we've got the colder area, I think, yeah, with the um it's lagging a lot because I'm flying really fast. This is like Metal Mountain. This is where you get all the good stuff for metal. There's another little island here. I think this is called Carno Island. Are we already all the way up here? We are, and that's where the Titan is. That's right. This is where that Titan is. Oh, I tamed it. Oh, well, excuse me. Wow, that's loud. And because I have it tamed... Whoops. I don't know if that prevents any others from from spawning. I have no idea. Wow, look at the ragdoll physics on that. Plop. All right. What do we got in the water here? I just love looking for these for these colors. Arr, look at him. He's like, I'm gonna eat you, biatch. I was like, no, you're not. You can try. Unfortunately, I don't know if I have a cryopod for you. I just don't know if I do. And then that music is really loud. Let me see if I can... I already have it down. There we go. That should be a little bit better. That's a cool looking shark. I mean, I don't know if I want to keep it. I don't have a... Uh... Whatchamacallit. I don't have a saddle for it, so it looks a little bit odd when I'm swimming on it. If you know what I mean. I don't know if I can create a cryopod. Where is the cry- Oh, I already have a cryopod in there. Yeah. Damn it, that's such a cool... ...looking shark. I don't wanna... I don't wanna miss out on- it. Oh, I'm going way too far here. Anyways, you don't have to stick around for this journey, but I think I'm gonna... I'm going to swim this bad boy all the way back to my base there. Oh, he's already out of stamina. Oh, jeepers. We got to get with the program. Yeah, I think that's what I'll do. That's a... That's a nice looking shark. That's part of the uh, summer event, I believe. Although I tried to trigger the uh, Halloween, you know, thing. Halloween event. But I, I don't know if I, if I did it properly. So I don't know if this is because of Halloween or if this is because of the summer event. What the heck was that? Oh, boy. Well, that's not good. That's an alpha. We'll just see what happens here. Because I have uh, realistic settings, if that makes any sense. Like, not overpowered settings. Otherwise, it would have died in two hits. Is that the alpha that I'm chomping on? It is. Oh. Generally, don't want to go there with the uh, the thingy there. Well, this is taking forever. There we go. 
I'm sorry, little dolphin, but you were kind of in the way there. So I used to think that you'd only get loot from people. Oh, look at that. 169. Oh, 197. Those are some good stats. Oh, a gold gun. I used to think you could only get that if somebody got eaten before. Like, oh, that must be someone's armor there that they left behind. Yeah, no, that's not how it happens. Oh, I know, I know. I'm sorry. You're, you know what I'm saying? Your brother got in, uh, caught in a crossfire there. You're more than happy to uh, to come. Yeah, that's right. You know, I took out an alpha. You hide in shame in that rock. And you, I don't know what you're thinking, but... So that gave me quite a bit of XP. I don't know, 36 points is realistic, but, uh, you know, let's bump that up a little bit to closer to the 5k mark. And when it comes to damage, 500 seems good. <clears throat> and then some movement speed. Maybe just 10%. And let's see what else we could do. <clears throat> Excuse me. Nothing for now. So that's its normal speed. That's when you sprint. Anyway, so that's about how long it would have taken to kill that alpha. I think I have it on reduced damage, but not by too, too much. Either which way. Normally, I'd also be drowning. Because I don't have my scuba on, but with the creative mode and admin commands, I have infinite... Infinite oxygen. But yeah, I'm really liking the color of this, and... Sometimes people do tame uh, just for colors. <clears throat> Excuse me. I could probably paint it. You know, like like I did those other animals I showed you earlier, though. Those weren't naturally occurring ones. That's all the devs did. They chose black, purple, and green for this one and said, okay, let's do it. It's like the... Oh, what did you come back to life? Where are you coming from? Now, you normally can't tame these, uh, but in, you know, an offline, let's hide the map here. It's a different one. You could tame them, but unfortunately, the glow stays, and it's actually really distracting. It looks like you're just constantly stuck. Like in a cloud of red fire or whatever. It's very, very distracting, so I actually got rid of my alphas. They're a little bit bigger. Uh, they're cool to look at. But, I mean, that's... That's pretty much it. Whoops. I beached myself. Look at the piranha. You really want some of this? You really want to go there? Oh, and I did take damage. If you look, I lost about half... Oh, no, I didn't lose half the health. That was because I gave my shark more health. There's a Sarko. Those things are awesome. We'll slow down a little bit here so that I can regain a little bit of uh, stamina. Again, these trees are interesting. I've had a base out here before. So help me God if that thing's still following me. But yeah, look at those colors. I just, I can't. Is it me or did it change color? I thought it was green. At the bottom rather than orange. There's a huge difference between like an orange and a green. That's not the I'm going to have to look at my own video after. I don't think that's the same color. Anyways, you don't have to stick around. I'm just kind of venting and seeing what this is like here. I'm almost back at where my original location was. At least I think. Yeah, I'm getting there. That little nook, it looks like a lobster claw there. That's where I've got to, uh, to go. But yeah, just look at those colors. It's just like, that's just so cool. I don't know. I'm, I'm huge into things like that myself. Stamina weight 500 health. 
Uh, eh, why not? Okay. What is... Well, look at you. Aren't you looking pretty? What level are you? See if you're even worth my time. Whoa. Oh. Oh, it showed the level. Sometimes it's a little bit hard. Level 20. Get the heck out of here with your level 20. No one wants a new shark like that. How many sharks are there? Yeah, that's right. You get out of there. This is definitely a keeper. I'll have to make some cryopods later and not just force tame everything. I want to tame them the normal way. Not because it also makes it feel a bit more special. That might be hard to do, like I said, and if I find I can't hold myself, my own self accountable, I will have to... Oh. I'll have to play uh, online again somehow, but I don't know. I don't know if it's worth it. Yeah, so if you do happen to watch this and you want to comment, I'm really curious to know if you've played this game before or if you've only ever watched other people play the game. This is around where I used to build my Plessy Trap. Welcome this girl. I have to look um, to the party. There's the Mosasaurus with the text, the text, the tech um, outfit. You can see how massive of a whopper that thing is. It can't swim any further up, by the way. That that's it there. Get out of my waters. You're not welcome here. These megalodons are higher, but they look boring. They don't have cool colors. Yeah, the bassy definitely makes an interesting sound. Yeah, so get a hold of that. Nice looking shark, I think. Whoa. We're gonna wrap it up there. Holy macaroni and cheese. Oh, that's it. Just ravenous. Yeah, that kitty don't play. All right, seriously, You're driving me nuts. We're going to do it again. One last time. Plop over. And that's the end of that. Yeah, I'm going to log here. And that's the end of that. I don't know what else to say anyways. So yeah, so that's what's going on. I also have it so nights go by quicker, like three times quicker. Because as cool as it is, I don't want to be in the dark for too long. But yeah. Anyhow, as always, if you like the video, go ahead. Give it a thumbs up. It does greatly help. Support the channel with the algorithm. If you didn't like the video, that's okay. And I'll feed your package to this thing. Trust me, that thing could castrate you quite well. Yeah, exactly. See, it's ready. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, I mean, obviously that would be great. But if not, thanks for stopping by anyways. Take care. And maybe I'll see some of you in the next video. Bye for now.